Hello kids. Today I will be doing one very important concept called angles and just root these things in your head because this concept will be there throughout with you all in terms of geometry. So geometry first thing what we will be starting is angles, okay? Now in case of angles, what is my first concept? My first concept is this. What is this called? Can you all guess? It's called point. This is called point. This thing is called point. What is this shape called? What is this shape called? Segment. Correct. It's called segment. Segment. Can you all explain segment? What is segment? Yes. Segment has got a starting point and an ending point. Then what is this called? What is this shape called? Oops, 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 oops. I wrote it beforehand. What is this shape called? Ray. Okay. This is called ray. What does ray means? It has got a starting point. But it doesn't have an in ending point. An arrow means, an arrow indicates that a particular shape doesn't have an ending point. It can extend infinitely. It can go infinitely. What does this shape means? What is this shape? Any guesses? Correct. It is called line. It is called line. Again indicated by the arrows on both the sides. It indicates that line can extend infinitely on left side as well as infinitely on right side. So we know point, segment, ray and line. Now one interesting shape is this shape. What is this shape called? This shape is called angle. And how will you explain angle? Angle is being drawn with the help of two rays. Angle is expressed with the help of two rays. So till now we have learned point, segment, ray, angle. Now further elaboration of angle is, suppose there is an angle like this. Okay, let me first uh, describe type of angles. What is this angle called? Which is this angle? Exactly. Correct. It is acute angle. What does acute angle means? An angle which is lesser than 90 degree is called acute angle. Which is this angle? An L shaped angle where an inverted L is formed over here. Which is this angle called? Correct. It is called right angle. Right angle is equal to, always equal to 90 degree, an L shaped angle. Which is this angle? A stretched angle outside. Which is this angle called? Yes. It is called obtuse angle. It is called obtuse angle. What does obtuse angle means? It means an angle which is more than 90 degree but lesser than 180 degree. And when this whole line sleeps down, when it is a full straight line, what is this angle called? It is called Straight angle and straight angle is equal to, straight angle is equal to how many degrees? Exactly, it is equal to 180 degree. Straight angle is equal to 180 degree. So we have learnt acute angle, right angle, obtuse angle, straight angle. And when this line 
is completely curved when this whole line is curved into a full round or full circle what is the degree of this angle it is equal to 360 degrees are you all with me till here okay now another aspect what we will be learning is this aspect it is like this Suppose this is a shape which has got these many parts and if I say that there are how many angles in this shape. So can you quickly write down that how many angles are there and then we can cross check that whether you all are correct or not. Fast, fast, write it fast. Okay. So first thing what we will start is from A, angle AOB, always started with A, finish all the angles starting with A, angle AOB, angle AOC, angle AOD, okay, then start with B because from A all the angles are done, so now starting with B, angle BOC, Angle B O D. And then the last one is C. Starting with C. So angle C O D. Are you all with me till here? So total how many angles are there in this shape? Total six angles are there in this shape. Now new concept what you will be learning is what are adjacent angles if in this if I ask what are adjacent angles or if I ask what are consecutive angles or if I ask what are neighboring angles then tell me what are they. So if I say what is an adjacent angle of angle AOB or consecutive angle of angle AOB or neighboring angle of angle AOB? What is the answer? What is the answer? Correct. Adjacent angle to angle AOB is this angle BOC. Adjacent angle or neighboring or consecutive angle to angle BOC is which? It is which? Is this and that is angle COD. Angle COD. Everybody till here with me? Okay. Now another concept which we will be learning over here is Complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary angles and supplementary angles. Some total of two angles of complementary angles is 90 degree. Some total of two angles of supplementary angle is 180 degree. So when two angles are added together and if they total up to 90 degree, then they are called complementary angles and when two angles are added together and when they total up to 180 degree, they are called supplementary angle. So if I say angle AOB is equal to 42 and half degree, what is the another complementary angle to angle AOB? I am asking complementary angle to angle AOB. What will be your answer? I am giving you few seconds to find out. Yes, and your answer goes in this manner. As it's called complementary angle, 90 degree minus 42 and half degree. So I can represent 42 and half degree as 42.5. I cannot subtract this, so I'll borrow from here. I cannot go from here directly to this. So, I will put 9 over here. 10 minus 5, 7 and 4. So, my complementary angle to angle AOB is equal to 47.5 degrees. 
Are you all with me? Now if I ask what is my supplementary angle to angle AOB which is 122 and half degrees. If I ask what is my supplementary angle to angle AOB which is 122 and half degree calculate fast what will be your answer quickly speed up yes my answer will be 180 minus 122.5 which is 0 minus 5 cannot happen which will be 57.5 degrees or you can say 57 and half degrees. Till here with me. So this is very much crucial for all these students of grade 4. Okay. Or you can say for grade 3 also. But from now onwards whatever things grade 5 can also actually every student can go through this video. Whoever has got angles as a topic. But extension from here will be for grade 5 students. Grade 4, grade 2, 3 can watch till here. But grade 5 from here they have to see further. Okay. Now from here there is another angle which is called. linear angle so if i say what are my linear angles over here they are angle aob and angle boc these are my linear angles so angle aob is equal to angle boc which are called linear angles as why they are called linear angles because they are on straight line as they are on straight line what will be the total of angle AOB plus angle BOC it is equal to I am giving you a few seconds quick equal to 180 degree are you all with me so what will be the adjacent angle to angle AOB what will be the adjacent angle to angle B AOB or neighboring or consecutive angle to angle AOB? Angle BOC. Angle AOB is adjacent to angle BOC. Are you all with me till here? Now then there is another angle which is called vertically opposite angles so when I say that what is the angle which is vertically opposite to angle AOB which angle will be vertically opposite to angle AOB yes correct angle COD angle COD is vertically opposite to angle AOB and which angle is opposite to angle BOD correct angle AOC so that is opposite to angle BOD and when I say what are these angles called if you do not consider this angle but if you only consider this angle what is this angle called this whole of it is called they are called Linear angles. Exactly. So if I say that angle BOD is 60 degree. What will be my angle BOA? My angle BOA will be correct. 120 degree. Because my angle BOD and BOA are called linear angles. They are leaning on a straight line. And straight line's angle is 180 degree. So my angle BOA will be 120 degree. 180 minus 60 degree which is 120 degree. Now my BOA is 120 degree. So my DOC will be also 120 degree. And my BOD is 60 degree. So my angle AOC will be also 60 degree. I am. I hope that I am very clear till here kids. If you all have any queries, any doubt, feel free to be in touch with me. Bye-bye and thank you till next session. Bye.